Hi, welcome to New Edge 360. In this video I am going to be show you how to create this parallax effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Please do not skip the video, because you are going to learn something different. Just create a new project. This time I will create the project without import any video. Now click the right key and create a new sequence. Just follow my all steps. So, our video is 4K, but our sequence is 1080p. That is why, the video will not match the sequence. But we have to keep the sequence setting as we created. Because we have to zoom our video for this flip effect. We need this scale option so that we can adjust this video with our frame. If you do not have it just click on this plus icon. And grab the option and release here. First, we have to set the scale size to 30. So that we can fit the video in the bottom. Now hold your click here and drag the mouse cursor to the right, so that we can adjust the clip to the bottom. Now select the clip. Hold your Alt or Option key and move above so that you can copy the layer. Now select the upper layer. Make the position 302. Rotate it, 180. Now click here to mask this selection. Hold shift key and adjust the box. Check this invert checkbox. Increase mask feather now. Mask feather will be 170. Now this upside down effect is 100% realistic. Now select both layer and click right key. Then nest it. Double click on this nest layer. As you can see our clip sky is moving to different direction. We can reverse the direction of upper layer. Just click right and speed duration. Select reverse. Now we have same direction for both layers. Go back to sequence. Expand your effects panel. Search transform. Grab the effect and release here. Before we start to editing with our transform effects, let's increase the scale first, so that we can adjust the clip with our sequence. 170 will be good.
place your playhead here. Take three keyframe for position, scale, and rotation. Come little far from the first keyframes, then take two new keyframe again for rotation and scale. Come little far again and set rotation 180. Now our whole clip will rotate like movie clips, but we have black empty space in the corners. To remove that we have to increase the scale. Keep check for empty space and set your scale size. One hundred fifty is not enough. We have to keep increase and keep checking for black empty space. We do not want to increase it too much. Otherwise, we will lose too much of footage from this clip. Scale size will be for this video two hundred ten. Now it's perfect. Now select the clip and please render into out so that we can view it without any lag. Set new keyframe for rotation and make it zero so that our footage became normal. Then scale will be 100%. Make sure your shutter angle is 125. It will create motion blur to your video. Now you can select each keyframe and add ease in or ease out effects, so that you motion looks smooth. So, make sure you have subscribed our channel and hit the bell icon. If you can please send me a super thanks. Please share this video on your Facebook timeline.